Hello and welcome back to Imperator Rome. I'm Pimp Mustroost and I am joined as usual by Commissar Roach, Magnus, Mitch, and Zatelier. Hello. Hello. I don't know how to pronounce any of your guys' names correctly. I I call him Zay. I call I call, I call you Mus so and I call him Zay. Those two. That's that's as far Mus. as I get. We got Zay, we got Commissioner Roach, we fucking got Midge Men. hate you, Ben. I, <laughs> I'm still angry about the maximum overdrive thing, goddammit. So, uh, yeah, for, for anyone that d didn't hear, I don't know if Zay has actually plugged it into his part of the video or... or but, I'm but, gonna uh, clip it and see. Turns out Ben was fucking with Roach the entire time. And <laughs> God, he's Max know Roach. that fucking movie! He knew it! <laughs> it was. It's even worse is that it was just going to be a throwaway joke for that episode. I just I, <laughs> turned into twelve minutes long. Twelve minutes of fuck with Roach. Which, let's be honest, a realm is now more stable. Yeah. Huzzah! Ah, <laughs> uh, these are the highlights of my week so and I, the I've worst got, I got points of my week. Another question for you guys: UI related. Yeah. So you go to the you go to the macro builder and you go to import trade goods uh, macro builder. What the hell is this good for? Uh, what am I looking at? What am I seeing? What are the hash marks? What does yellow mean? What does purple mean? What does green mean? It's uh, okay. Here, here's a, here's so an easy here's an easy way of explaining it, Ben. It's magic. Don't use it. <laughs> it's magic. You use it. The Catholic Church will kill you. Mm. Okay. So I can actually explain that question. <laughs> uh, Way to ruin it, Midge. Hey, don't I listen to like him. To know the He's a no, warlock. Do it. So, so <laughs> it shows. Okay, you, I'm a I'm a sorcerer actually. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> you, so it only shows you people that are in your diplomatic range for first thing when you click things, um, and is what it does is you highlight where people um, have the resource and are trading it from but the colors denote how much they've got of it. So yellow means they've, they've got it, but then like it's stagnant. Red means they haven't got it anymore. Like they're under surplus. Green means they're, they're, they're or whatever the other color. Uh, the green means that they've got um, more, to, more to share, I believe. I believe that's how it works. I just realized that I should uh, turn off uh, trading away surplus because I don't want to. Capital import routes plus one, please. Indeed. That's a good one. Once you start getting like six, seven, eight trade routes in your capital, you can get some stacking modifiers. Mm -hmm. yeah. However, I should have paid attention while I was highlighting that fucking uh, what that mechanic does and realized that no one can actually trade anything because they don't have a surplus. Yep. So that was pointless tech. Okay, so I think I figured out a good way to half ass figuring out if you should have a province on. Uh, uh, governor policy for assimilating or converting people. You just click on the province and you look at the frowny faces. Yep. There's yep. a yeah, lot of frowny again. faces, then you need to convert some people. Thing is, however, <clears throat> they will stay frowny faces until you assimilated the last of them. It's uh, not like 80% makes no, it's average. It's the average of is the whole average? thing. Yeah, it's, it's the yeah, average. It's average. Yeah. Yeah. And, but also you can use, if you go onto your nation overview, you can use the pie charts to see like the breakup of but he's wanting, yeah, he's wanting though. province by yeah. province. Yeah, but if you look at it before you observe, uh, absorb a place, and then look at it after, you can. But if it's a small, yeah. if it's a small area, then you have no idea because that's such minute. Like, like oh, seven pixels change. Yeah, right. like example, example. Well, no, no, I'm lucky pop here. Over and see amounts and percents. Like, that's not too absurd a, an option. But how does that translate? But you can see amounts and presents. But the, there's okay, so you also have the fact that there can be pops that naturally get born that are not of your culture in your your nation. And and so like if I've got a thousand pops, if I've got you know you know, but that that could that could still leave a province with the majority of the people being unhappy because they're the wrong culture, the wrong religion, and barely showing up on the gra graph. Oh, sh sh sorry, yeah. Um continue i've just realized i still got that mismatching idea from fucking first episode oh though. yeah oh I keep, <laughs> keep forgetting to because i keep spending my oratory points fuck it's a good shout i need to check that because i didn't do oh no i'm i'm, I'm fairly okay hallelujah i got iron oh nice oh nice How i would like you? to switch though to military administration because my Generals, I keep getting disloyal, which I really dislike. 
Bribing is expensive, kids. Don't try it. <laughs> Bribing's expensive. Actually, actually, do try it all the time. National uh, yeah. happiness. Don't mind if I do. If you take anything from this series, kids, uh, bribery is the way forward. <laughs> If you're a settled tribe, anyway. <laughs> if you're a settled tribe, or if you're a senator. Oh, yeah. There's several well, senators well, in, who in, love in to bribe this, people. I mean, in this country, bribery is perfectly legal as long as... You as long as your title like... is a... Uh, is uh, Oh, what the fuck are they called? Tribune, uh, a deal. No, for senator. the U.S., what is it called? Uh, for us, yeah, the United States. What, what are they? Uh, fucking... Uh, uh, PAX. No, the, the actual people that go... Uh, lobbyists. If your title is a oh, lobbyist, yeah, yeah, then... Yeah, yeah. yeah, just yeah. put the money in there. Who, who gives a shit? <laughs> Money speech, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> money equals speech now. Yay! Yay. So why am long I in... freedom. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm in a minus. So long freedom. Do you know, um, Britain, we don't legally have freedom of speech. No, we know that. That's why we left. Wait, you don't? <laughs> no, that was representation. Well, yeah. Sp represent well, that's a no, subset we're, we're of... we back to the Puritans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they didn't have freedom of religion. Which, technically, that could be considered speech. I, I mean, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Just can't, can't let it go. Brits can't let it go. <laughs> like, like the fact that we keep losing the World Cup, we can't let it go. No. Yeah. Or the EU, <laughs> just, can't just can't let it go. Just can't let the EU go, either. Even though you really want to. Mmm. I don't think they want to. Some people, well, it depends. It depends on who you ask. I know, I know, uh, five British people that I talk to regularly. None of them agree on Brexit. They all have different opinions nope. on it. It's like, it is amazing. See, most of the ones that I talk to are, uh, most of the ones I talk to are against it. They're just like, let's just, well, no, no. no. At this point, it's just band aid. Just fucking do it. <laughs> this is just yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's yeah, that's, that's what that's I'm what saying though. So, like, like there there but are two. Except, that's the thing. That's what the entire general public are like now, pretty much. Except government. Yeah. Well, well they still need to argue. Mm. What I'm talking about is that there there are two general camps: stay or leave, and people agree, you know, disagree on that. But there are also like subsets within those camps, like like of the nuances yeah. of it, and they none of them agree. It's amazing. It's amazing. This must be <laughs> what it's like when when people look at our country, Ben. It's like there are two camps, mm. but nobody agrees on anything. Except that the people that are leading the two camps should not are be doing all it. all idiots. Yeah, and shouldn't be yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't think yeah. you were getting politics well, it, in this series, well, it's it's wrong. It's, 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 it, this is, this is the time when politics were invented. <laughs> we have no yeah. term limits on our senators and congressmen here, so a lot of times what will happen is somebody. They just die, uh, will, and that's when they get replaced. They'll, they'll get elected. And then normally what happens is just because people, you know, just want to, they don't want change, they don't like change, they just keep reelecting the same person. And if that person has something, uh, 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 like, if the opponent's party does, does something they don't like, they'll hold that grudge for decades. Yep. I mean, Just honestly, waiting for a moment to get back at them. Some of your politicians look like they came back from a taxidermist. Mm. It, I mean, let's be honest here, it's there's just, probably a couple wow. that are alive. They're just there. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't realize Have you it, seen maybe. Mitch McConnell? He's a puppet. By I mean, literally, there's somebody's hand in his head. That's the... That's just, that's just, that's <laughs> he that. looks like his skin is not attached to his body. Yeah, oh, it's like a, it's like a turtle. It's like a turtle is wearing a human suit because he has no lips. Yeah. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Um, the, the big cockroach in... No offense, Roach. In... Um, uh, yeah, he's my uncle. Uh, I got a movie. With, uh, um, with Men Will in Black. Smith and... Men in Black. Men in Black, yeah. I <laughs> see, I could have fucked with you. And just, oh, it just led Edgar you on suit. for That's 12 minutes. About not it's an Edgar movies. suit. It's an Edgar suit, yeah. But, no, yeah, Mitch McConnell is an Edgar person. suit. <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope you learned your lesson, Roach. You gotta, you gotta jump on those possibilities. <laughs> Does Mitch McConnell go home and just ask his wife for sugar water? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Or, I could see that happen. Well, no, it's Mitch McConnell, so it's it, it's uh it's orphan blood. So it's, it's orphan blood and water. So it's, it's just more blood. It's 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 got to be like Kath, uh, was it Kathy Bates in uh, American Horror Story where she makes like a she she uses a mortar and pestle to uh, make uh, some of this make a lotion out of the liver of a live slave. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, it's Mitch McConnell. I wouldn't put anything Could past I Mitch. Force you into or, or, or how I call him, the Muppet that leads Congress. Just <laughs> <laughs> He's Kermit yeah, the ha- Frog. He has the same really lips. Okay. Look at Mitch McConnell talk. He, it's Kermit. It's Kermit or a turtle. He has no lip. They don't move. That's the thing. He's. It's like, it's Uncanny Valley times a thousand. It's amazing Ooh. that people so elect him. That. That's fine. That's just fine. It's also amazing that somehow he passes for human. See that we got to put that in the constitution. You have to be a specific age and a human being legally. <laughs> yeah, a legal human being. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm per- like I like have you ever seen Hillary Clinton's eyes? I don't think she's human. Oh, hey. It's like uh what is, what is his name Mark Zuckerberg during the Congress hearings? It was like data. Oh, he's just data. Yeah. He's just <laughs> he has, He's an android. It's and... pre-programmed blink intervals that he's using and he's Well, he's he's, he's not data, he's lore. He's, yeah, that's true. No, B4. Oh, yeah. No, he's the less advanced data. He's B4. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, B4. Yeah. yeah. I'm we're just I'm throwing out these obscure references morale. to all this. Nobody shit. knows what we're fucking talking about. It's amazing about. that people watch us. I mean, I do. Let's be let's be honest. To be fair, they don't anymore. That's um, yeah. They, they they checked out after after a maximum overdrive. They're, they're watching this just because they want to they want to see the game. That's it. Yeah. yeah. They've probably got it muted and they're doing some other work. That's what tends to happen. Yeah. yeah. Could be. Either one or the other. Either they don't look at the game and listen to us because they prefer it as a podcast, or they look at the mm-hmm. game with us muted. There's not an in-between. Or if, if, you, okay. if you're doing both, write in the comments now that you are both <laughs> watching this and listening to us. and It'd Make and, us and feel a little bit better second, about ourselves. Then, then do a second comment to, to prove that you understand it. And to bump up those impressions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the, the, you, yeah. You, Every you, comment... You Every comment, every like helps us. Even a dislike, in all honesty, is, is still yep. good. Like, the... like that one time some dude from Singapore uh, got upset for some reason and went through and disliked 2,000 videos. Oh my wow. god, <laughs> that's amazing. It, it, I was looking at my stats for like a long time ago for, for, for some reason, I don't even remember why. And it's just, just this one day, I got a ton, like the most dislikes. That must have been a bot. Huge, huge spike. And I went, and I, I choose to believe it's not it wasn't and it was just some dude angrily sitting there for 20 hours going to every single video and disliking it because that's a much better story yeah, that, but that means you got a view for every video i mean that means he gave and you an equivalent for a dislike yeah he, he gave you at least two dollars worth of ad revenue if he <laughs> if he had an ad uh, if he had ads on and he, right war it is and, and he gave you impressions for two thousand videos uh, which is amazing do I want my allies nah I would love that kind of shit. That would that would that would bump you up quite a bit. Wait. Mm. Okay, this is weird. I declare war and immediately there is an Ordovica they'll be red than you with no manpower and it's black flagged and it just spawned in oh, the nation they, they I'm attacking. Bought, yeah, yeah, they've bought mer- mercenaries. Yeah, don't mm-hmm. let them don't let them get in contact with an occupied area or their con- or the nation that you're fighting and they No, 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 it has a flag. It, it is from Ordovica. It's so it's a country? Power. Yeah, it's not from a local power. <laughs> So then they're, yes. then they're just eight. black flag. I don't know. Maybe they're they bought it and they just haven't gotten to. Yeah, but why buy it in a nation that is not even remotely close to you? Well, the AI. I don't, maybe it's just because that was the the one they could afford, and it was the closest one they could afford. Could be. That's yeah. It, it, huh, pen. Just distance doesn't mean the same thing to to AI at this time. Yeah, fair, but it's just it's there. It's just the unit is exiled and Pen-y image. Uh, so if I right-click click you, it still says I'm awaiting your reply for the alliance. Oh yeah, we we noticed that in the. Uh, the <laughs> other thing. That'll like... happen with wars too. It'll tell you you're not at war with people you're actively at war with, or vice versa. Let's just let's a blanket statement. This is still hot code that we're hot playing. Code. It's hot code. Hot code. We have no idea no what way. it'll be like in when when it gets released. Whether or not these things will be fixed. True. Like they, I'm sure they they will get fixed. It's whether or not they'll. It's just eventually. It's where. Why did we go from we Legio go One to Legio Two again. to Legio Six? Uh, we don't talk you, about them. Uh, you d- okay? So, so the, the reason that it's, it's like the thirteenth floor that of is a hotel. Because you've uh, raised men like manually and then combine them rather than raising one and then building an army out of it. Yeah, well, I renamed them now, so they're not dumb. <laughs> Call one primigenia. It's it's very, I mean, it's very rare to actually have a military that's sequentially numbered. Look at the United States military. It's a, a hodgepodge of units that, that are left over from mm. from the Second World War that have, that have been kept, uh, like, going or, or been shuffled yeah, around. I, I, 
like I have two um, smaller units called uh, Stratos 1 and Stratos 3. And then my main army is uh, the 15th Stratos. Uh, just jumped all the way up there. <laughs> You know what would be nice for the military units? When you click on an army, if it showed you them, like, in the, the units in that army in order, because right now it's, like, heavy, light, heavy, light, light, heavy, heavy, light, cavalry, 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 heavy, light, heavy, cavalry, heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, like, you mean you actually... Just... Yes, all you heavies, mean. all lights, all cav grouped together. In the, in the list form, you mean? Yeah. So here's something uh, I've so... not... Yeah, that's just down to when they combined in, like, in the order. Yeah, you could, it's just silly. You can sort that yourself by, like, okay, I'm going to disconnect all the heavies and then put them all back in. Um, yeah, that, yeah that I'm not doing it. that. <laughs> so here's something that I, I've i seen a couple of times, and I just can't find it. Uh, has a chance to get a Cognomen. That's basically after you do a um, Triumph. Yeah. But yes. I've not found... I've gotten a message once like, hey, uh, he now has a cognome, but I can't find it. I think it's a trait. So, there, oh, so there's okay. like those little traits they can have. I think it's it's a specific yeah. trait that gives you like bonuses. I had it one point, but I didn't pay attention enough to remember what its bonuses were. It's fairly good. Now, if they do get a good <laughs> trait, yeah. But Well, I mean, the, co uh, the cognomen is, is a specific trait. It's not just a trait. Okay, so it's a trait. It's not actually a, 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 an extra name. Yeah, it's it's it, it is like the cog the cognomen trait, and it hmm. does something, but I don't remember what it. Was. It might be popularity gain or could be or something like yeah, that. Yeah, could be. I don't remember. I mean, in the end, it is after triumph. So yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what do we I remember. Want? It's really good because it it'll help you. It'll help you keep kind of your senators and everybody together more. But I don't. I just oh. So it's not like oh, I tip oh, my. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Now she has it indeed. What is? She it? has the cognomen the victorious. Aha! There you go. There you go. That's the first time I actually see that. Well, there you go. Now you know what it so does. There's probably you there might like be more, subtypes of that. Like, I'm not sure, yeah. but. Uh, okay, so balance it out a bit. To, uh, yeah. So I just had uh, barbarians like come through the impassable terrain. Ah. Uh. Mm, mm. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they come. I mean, they come straight yeah. out of the highlands as well. So, yeah, that's where they spawn in. Oh really? Oh god, that just gave me, shit me up when ten thousand barbarians just spawned in the mountains mm -hmm. of the upper Macedonia. They'll just come barreling down to uh, down and the, the hills. The fucking barbarians arrive. <laughs> fucking barbarians, mate. Why? <laughs> why? Why? Why that? <laughs> Why not? Wait, I don't control it. Oh yeah, no, I put you on automation. That's why. I was like, why do I have only two controlled armies, but I put the third one on automatic uh, hunting for enemies. So I'm gonna I'm gonna admit uh, something that embarrasses me, but it's not the first time. Okay. Uh, is uh, in my single player game that I'm, that I'm playing as Carthage, I've, and I'm playing it. It's like six seventy five or something like that. I didn't. I. I didn't know about the government, the governor policies, so I've been manually converting all of my uh, uh, cultural pop, oh, like manually culturally converting it's all just my pops. It's easy to manually do it than to try to sort. It costs much more though, because it's twenty, yeah, it's twenty yeah, a pop, and if you're dealing with what I'm having, it, the all of North Africa, Sicily, like all that stuff, it's like I've, oh my god, I just realized how much it's money. a lot slower though. Yeah, but I wasn't in a hurry anyways, because it's, it's still because I, I went through like. I don't know, a hundred years where I was only making like two or three. Well, I was no, it would be it'd be like five oratory power a month, and it was just it was horrible. So yeah, yeah I gained four a month right now. Seven, and I just spent 185 on uh, one province, so I can uh, siege it down. But then at least all of Brigantia is mine. How's that? And it's a port too, so that makes me happy. Which oh. reminds me, I should probably blockade that. You guys only have light infantry, that's cute. It'd be a shame if someone famous for having heavy infantry were to do something about that. Or oh, heavy cavalry. Were the Ro Did the Romans have very good heavy cavalry? I forget. Was it? No, they, um. No. It was more light cavalry, in, wasn't it? Well, the extraordinary. In the, um. Mo most of the, uh, the. the... The monarchy period and the republican period, they had equites, which were citizen cavalry, but uh, they never really fielded a lot of them because a lot of rich people didn't like dying. 
Um, <laughs> I wonder and, why. Uh, and then do. during the majority of the rest of the Roman Empire, they just hired out. They, 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 they would just request cavalry as the um, as the like a tribute from a the tithe that, from you know, was, yeah the, yeah. <clears throat> you you need to uh, support us with you know light infantry and some cavalry. Give us horses and men to ride the horses. <laughs> and and men Thank horses. And, and, and men. to scrape out the latrines. Ta um, give us centaurs. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans were famous for their centaurs. <laughs> oh, God. As far as the eye could see, just centaurs charging down the, the battlefield. I would like a ruler right now with much better oratory skills. Uh, Wouldn't we all, Mitch? Wouldn't we all? Yeah. Because I have a three right now. So I definitely want a ruler so who can talk good. Slow. I mean, I have three as well. I've got ten military and zero on the civic power. And I'm then seven, three four, oratory. Three, it's. I'd have to see who's very below next average. In line. Next in line would like be the... an A three ten five. Mm, yeah. Only thing is, she's sixty six already, and the one what? in charge right now is forty. So she'll probably die before. My my heir is forty one, and he's a four three four three, which is even worse. <laughs> yeah. Military, well, why would you, uh, well, yeah, you know what, I'll accept that. Can you move that army away from me, then, please? Wait, you shouldn't, because you're black flagged, so you could walk anywhere. But you don't. Ah, uh, you're very loyal, I like that in a man. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it all the Not sweeter when I stab him in using. the back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I had a ticking uh, civil war at one point earlier because I switched one of the laws to get more centralization. Well, I managed to bribe the person. Land. And also your monies. Oh, you actually had some money. Nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay, feast banish those of class. Quintus. Yeah, Quintus can get a feast. Oh, shit. Uh, you get five more. Hmm. Oh, fuck well, me. fuck it. I keep building triremes to get an even that? number, then every time I fight the pirates, I capture a trireme, giving me an odd number, making me build another trireme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, anyway, hey, any of you guys at war? Nope. I am. I'm, I'm about to be. I'm good. Okay. Why? I was just wondering if we could try speed three. Uh, I don't think it's very I, stable. I mean, this is not very... Yeah, this is... Fairly easy war for me, so I'm, I'm good, good with trying. I'm good with two. Yeah, I'm good with two. Oh, really? There's a lot of things I'm managing in terms of pops and <laughs> trying to figure out how to play this game. Yeah, I'm just waiting for things to tick up. Man. Yeah, it's same, like... but it's fine. Well, hey, it's uh, we're supposed to be playing the game, going at a nor like kind of good pace and talking with each other. So just think of a conversation, mm -hmm. Midge. Be social for the for the love of God. Come on. It's really hard when you talk to, to talk us. About obscure films all the time, Roach. <laughs> You're I a mo you are an actor. How do you yeah, not? You are literally an actor <laughs> trained. <laughs> like yes, quite. And you most should be in on this conversation. You're okay, yeah, and also but, uh, actors uh, have Most of the script. films you are watching, most of the films you are watching, you can barely call them actors. That's what uh, makes so it great. Shouldn't you be able to critique that <laughs> and look at it and okay, understand yes, where they? Doesn't mean I want to. <sighs> then you just don't know how to how to have a good time. I mean, come on. Who, who doesn't love watching Neil Breen? How, how could you be, call yourself an actor and not have seen 800 canon movies? Oh, yeah. That's true. Come on. have you? How could you not have seen Death Wish 3? I have. See, Invasion <laughs> USA? Invasion USA, yeah. I have. See? Musk gets it. <laughs> hey, I've been a stoner for 15 years. There's not much come else on, to Mitch, do. Come on, Mitch. Get on the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the trolley, chap! <laughs> I'm, br I'm bringing that back one way or another. Well, first you'd have to find a trolley. <laughs> that still works. I mean, I know there's something on him. <sighs> Is there any place in the U.S. that still uses trolleys regularly? San Francisco. Oh, yeah. No, I guess there they would. Go. Is there anywhere else? Because oh, they're known for that. You mean, you mean trolley as in trolley car as in fucking trams? Yeah. Right, okay. A trolley in the UK is a shopping cart. We know you're weird, and we know you're, you have you have a weird language image. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 
hold a siege down or blockade it rather. Should help Has it been implemented where where like uh, ships can can stop uh, straight crossings, or is that still not a thing? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, it has. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. Thing. Okay, because it wasn't a thing when I first got the game, and it was weird. So I wonder if that was been. No, it's the it's just if you own the both sides, or if they own the both sides, they can still. It's like in E4. Why are you still here? And also, a disloyal admiral won't stop them. <laughs> I've never had. Yeah, I've never really had problems with disloyal. I get a lot of texts and stuff that make oh, loyalty you, better. Roll the one on the scene. Um, yeah, we we saved Rose during the dividing the spoils by having everybody support disloyalty in the main general from Egypt. So at one yeah, point I, he was he was on the yet. ships and, and refused to get off. <laughs> he was too disloyal. Shame's gonna lose loyalty. That's fine. That other guy though, not a not really fan of him losing loyalty, because he's got the biggest army in the fuck field. What's a, what a fuck field? <laughs> Did I break up there? <laughs> in the well, fucking I, I, field. Yeah, I just heard fuck field. I was like, is this some sort of Brit... Well, because you're playing as ancient Britain, is this like an ancient Br British like <laughs> ceremonial rite? We all go into well, the fuck field. Yeah. On, I figured on, out what the henges are for. <laughs> <laughs> They're all very, very old bats. All right, everybody assemble at the fuck circle. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, stability drop. That's just brilliant. Uh, I would think it'd be pretty bad, stability drop. Not brilliant, but that's mm. me. <laughs> oh wait, why is my taxes so low? What is this? I like the idea that Stonehenge is just like. Let's be like, honest. Uh, it's it? not actually too far out of the question that that was a that was a place where a lot of people fucked for a while. I mean, I mean <laughs> it's still like, is. Let's I face mean, it. I mean, I worked for Disney. I know what it's like to work at a tourist like location. That's what people go there to do. Yeah. You, you realize we had, like, uh, huge hippie movements in the 70s that had festivals around them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I'm... I mean, I think they had them in the U.S. in the 60s. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm like, even saying direct, back in the... Directly at Stonehenge is what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I'm even, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. even talking about, like, back in the day when they were first made and stuff like that. There was probably some ceremonies that happened around there that... Do you oh. think... That you think likely. tourists back then will be the exact same thing that tourists back now. They go there, they look at the things, and then they do some stuff so they can go back home and elbow somebody like, uh, yeah, I fucking the <laughs> I modern museum. What happened at art. Stonehenge stays at Stonehenge, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the Vegas of, of prehistoric Britain. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not fucking innocent in, in this. Uh, okay, all right. Innocence. Didn't need to know that about yourself. <laughs> Hey, I think we all need to know where everybody else has done it on what monument. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, this is a good place. I don't. To end. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to. Don't want to um, say which. Uh, <laughs> no, which is it? No. Oh, it was right. Stonehenge. <laughs> we are over time already. Oh, oh well, in that case. I'm going to say thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, check out all the other players' perspectives. All the links are down below. Links to our Twitch, the Discord, and Patreon pages when we have them. And we'll be back tomorrow with more Imperator Rome. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.